What's up guys, Joe Holland here. I'm gonna show you how to build a window jack for your pop-up hub style tent, or any tent really, so you could run a wood stove, propane heater, any kind of outlet or chimney through your window, your existing windows that you already have. You don't wanna cut your tent. That's what I didn't wanna do. So Donnie showed me how to build one of these and I'm gonna show you guys how to build a, another one this year. Very minimal tools and very minimal labor and money into this. I think $10 for the sheet of metal, and you can build two out of that. The boot is, is the price range, and you can go anywhere from $10 to, to $40 on the boot, depending on high temp, stainless steel, how far you want to go on that. And I'm not even 100% sure you need a boot for that. You could probably just cut a hole in this tin and leave a little space in or, or put some welding blanket around it. But if you want to build a nice, snazzy, neat looking one like this, I'll show you how in, in less than 20 minutes. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a window jack out of metal for your Eskimo ice shacks. Donnie built one of these last year out of sheet metal and uh, worked really well. I ended up giving that one away, so I gotta make another one. So quick trip to Lowe's, uh, just to get a piece of tin or sheet metal. This, this sheet right here is 18 by 36. It's actually called like a joist liner if you have to order one online or if you want to look at it in the shop. But it's a, it's a good size. I'll definitely get at least one, maybe two out of this. So the first thing you want to do is pull your window out to get the right size. You're going to have your longer run on the bottom here and a 90 degree angle here. So I'm going to put that 90 degree angle right on the 90 degree angle of my sheet metal, which is going to save me two cuts. like so so the windows like was packaged all year so it's a little it needs to be stretched out so what i'm gonna do is is pull it stretch it out to right there and i'm gonna put a mark with my marker right there i can't really trace it right now because as you can see the windows make it a tone uh, form but what i can do is i can put it flat and stretch it out and then I could do that. And the same goes for this one. There, so I have all my angles at least traced out from my window and you want to match the same size. And then you could take a straight edge and just finish up your lines. So there you have it right there. Can probably get another one out of this side too if I want. Might not be a bad idea to have two or have one for a buddy. Yeah, you could definitely get two out of one sheet if you need to or you want to make one for a friend. All right, we got a pair of straight cutting shears. Let's see how it handles this metal. Put a little bit of bend to it with your other hand and it should cut pretty easy. There's a lot of different ways you can cut this, but with a good pair of shears, it cuts just like, just like you'd be cutting with a pair of scissors through cardboard. And I'm gonna go all the way through. And then I just got that last angle right there to deal with. There you go. So there's your window right there, pretty much same size. And it's gonna need some Velcro on it and you're gonna need your pass-through. So this is my pass-through here. Um, you could use any different type of ones. This one's a high heat one, so it'll be really good for a wood stove. I'm not using a wood stove in this case, but it would be great for a wood stove if I was using it, so. Lot of bolts, a lot of screws and nuts and bolts and washers and everything for this one. It's a little bit overkill. We might leave a couple out and just have open holes for ventilation. But the cool part about this is it's reversible. So if you don't like how you have it set up in your tent, you can put it on the other side and use a different window because there are uh, left-hand and right-hand windows in this in your Eskimo tent. 
I'm just gonna use this to trace it. I just wanna make sure, yep. So we wanna be kinda centered up, down, and around. And I'm gonna trace out the inside hole. So we want it at least that big. Not a lot bigger, cause you want your screws, you're gonna want your screw holes in there too. And while you're there, you can draw those in. Don't have to push very hard. out the center with a jigsaw so I'm gonna give myself a pilot hole to get started there I'm gonna use a little bit bigger bit for that one give myself a little bit more room So I'll probably end up switching these to wing nuts when I get some, just to make this more adjustable in the field. But for right now, I'll just use the ones that came with this kit. A friend of mine sent me this kit. Um, I think you could buy it on Amazon. The orange is like the high heat. So if you're using a wood stove, you want to get the orange one. We used the, a black one last year, the black rubber boot, and it did melt. Um, it still did its job, but it did melt from the from the high heat and as you guys can see i forgot to put on my inside ring my outside ring not 100 percent necessary but might as well put it on right it'll stiffen this up a little bit too Who caught that at home? All right, there you have it. Now this is adjustable for whatever size pipe that you're gonna put through. I'm gonna put a three inch through, so I'm gonna end up cutting this probably back in here, and I'm gonna be coming through at an angle as well, so. I think I'm coming through with this piece right here. So yeah, I'm gonna wanna cut this ring way back, way back into this, uh, into this bend right here. And if you cut it a little too big, it just means you're gonna have some airflow, which just isn't the worst thing either. So. But you can just use your knife. It's pretty soft rubber.
I don't even mind that that's not the best cut because I don't mind a little bit of air coming in. But we'll try that out. There you have it. And then that's going to come through the heat source in here. Out here is going to be your exhaust. And then two more things we got to do. One, we got to put the Velcro on. And then the other thing is if you have like a, a belt grinder or um, sand or sandpaper or something, you could go ahead and smooth out these edges so they don't cut you while you're out on the ice. You know, these corners are really sharp. So I'm going hit to hit that on my belt grinder. So last but not least is you're going to want to get your Velcro on there. This is sticky side Velcro. So the metal's nice and clean, so it should stick right to it nicely. And you want to match it up with your male or female side that you have here. So we're going to use, it looks like, okay, it looks like it's the rougher side. and peel out my rougher side and just stick it directly to your metal and you can use scissors or a knife scissors right here yep that's good There you go. If you're using old metal, you know, just make sure it's cleaned off so your tape sticks to it. This stuff sticks pretty well. We didn't have any problem with ours last year. There you go, there you have it. So that's one-sided now. And if you want it reversible, you know, like for left-hand or right-hand windows, you can go ahead and put some, some of the um, Velcro on the other side too. And then, like I said, I'm gonna change these out when I get some wing nuts. And then that replaces that. So when you're out there camping, you just pull your, your uh, glass window out of your tent and then put this in. And then when you're not using it, obviously you put this one back. So there it is guys, pretty easy, super easy build. Just remember to take it out before you collapse your tent. But uh, there's your window jack for your Eskimo. I did mine two-sided so you can go on either way. Um, you could change this around if you put wing nuts instead of regular nuts, you could change it super easy. Just throw like, all you need is two wing nuts on that thing. And you could swap it around to reverse directions if you want this pointed out. Or you could probably get away with just uh, running it backwards. But there you go, that's gonna save your tent and your exhaust and be able to camp now with a little bit better heat source than maybe you were running before.